Morning Wood. Morning Wood. Little sad, Clink. Little sadness this morning. Well, yesterday. Two days ago. Technically. Two days ago. Well, it, um, Regis Philbin passed away. Yeah. Um, a great rock on tour. Oh my. I know. Thank you. I. You <laughs> is, know. is that somebody? Who I spent all night thinking of that word. I thought that was somebody who plays pool. Well, that's a rock on tour. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, you know. He was a great storyteller. I used to watch um, live with Regis and Kathy Lee back in the day. It used to be on, like, really, it was in Chicago. When they first went national, it was in Chicago, on in Chicago for, like, uh, at, like, 5 o'clock in the morning. So we, uh, and as it happens, I had a young kid, so, a baby. So I would be up at 5 o'clock in the morning, and I would a lot of times watch that show as I was trying to get uh, my daughter to go back to sleep. Well, this came up here recently because just, uh, I think it was late last week, or whatever, this is late last week. Sometime last week you had mentioned uh, aspiring to Regis Philbin. Yeah. Before this all went down. <laughs> and right off the bat, though, the interesting thing about Regis Philbin, have you ever heard anything controversially, inappropriately, or bad about him? Which is why we could never aspire to him. <laughs> <laughs> but he was like clean as a whistle the whole way through. Yeah, yeah. He, he was, uh, I mean, he never, you know, he had a rocky career in the beginning. He was, uh, uh, he was on the Joey Bishop show back oh, in the day. He was on. the, uh, what do you call that? Uh, when, uh, like oh, the Ed yeah. McMahon of, uh, uh, of a talk show. Anyway, and you know, that show didn't last for it. Yes, yeah, sidekick. And um, then he did some local stuff and then he, you know, got, went to New York and, he just started doing the show, and Kathy Lee Gifford uh, and him were co-hosts, and it clicked, and they just had a great style. They had something called Host Chat, which is kind of what we aspired to do on this show on, uh, on Morning Wood. We're just sitting down and, and talking and, you know, revealing, you know, things about the day and, you know, just stories. And, of course, they had a lot more to talk about than we do, or a lot more <laughs> interesting things to talk about. And hey, people hey, and hey, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah well, they well, might have had some... Uh, some better guests than we do. <laughs> you missed the California connection with him, though. He got his start in San Diego. Did yeah? you know that? No, I did not know 61 that. 61 to 65, he was on Kogo TV with some sort of, uh, might have been radio TV. Anyway, back then it was probably radio. But anyway. He could talk. That guy could talk. And uh, boy, I, I, I welcome his soul into my body if he is looking for a place to live and have someone to speak through because uh, I just think he was one of the best and of our generation. And I'm really uh, sad that uh, he's gone. And but he lived a nice long life. The man was worth a lot of money in the end. <laughs> if I had to choose a body to enter, um, you weren't me in my top ten there. Fuck just, you. Just saying, just saying. <laughs> really? <laughs> Who would be in your top ten? Uh, well, yeah. let's start with gender, <laughs> but not me a male. But you're saying, okay, well, there's the whole idea of entering somebody's body, not in the sexual way, but just being that, <laughs> being that necessary. Yeah, let, let me clarify. Regis, do not fuck me. <laughs> wow. That took a turn. <laughs> but we didn't mention Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, which was a great... Uh, I mean, I don't know if you watched it. Me, I do, I do, I do. I know, right? Yeah, no, of course I did, yeah. Uh, he, I mean, was a, he was a ball uh, of fire for a while, and he was exhausting he for a was, while. Uh, yeah, he he was everywhere. And yet... Uh, he came out of nowhere. I mean, you you sound like you got to know him early on, but when when he was like everyone was talking about Regis Philbin and, and what a great uh, Philbin and what a great host he was, I'm like, who is this guy? And I'm like, why does everybody think he's so great when he hasn't done anything? And then I saw why he was so great. But yeah, I just uh... he had kind of a curmudgeonly persona, but you know it worked. No crunchy, he no crow, no crunch. No, 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 he was, he was. I mean, you know, I, I was reading some obits yesterday or some articles, and it was true. I mean, he, uh, you know, but he would make stuff funny. It just, you know, it was just great storytelling. Just the smallest thing. But not, an evening off for dinner, he can make into an opus. Well, here's to you, opus. Yeah. Regis <laughs> opus. Okay. <laughs> we yeah. miss you already. God bless you, Reg. Hope you're happy. Bye. <laughs>